Okay, for our first um, nitrogen heteroaromatic, let's talk about pyrazole. I think it's probably the simplest one to look at. Here is the basic structure of pyrazole. It's an aromatic compound. Um, two electrons in each pi bond, and then we count this nitrogen lone pair. This lone pair is an sp2 hybrid and doesn't count towards aromaticity. So when we take this apart, we think, okay, we can make that bond by making an imine. And so we think of this going backwards, retrosynthetically. We can form that imine from this aldehyde and that amine coming together. Now, as it turns out, this over here um, on the left is an enamine. And that's a bond we make there. Sometimes it's a little easier to think of this as an equilibrium. The enamine and imine are in equilibrium. I, I just find it's easier to see imines than enamines. But that is now an imine. And if we think backwards, we'll make that bond by reacting an NH2 with a carbonyl. That's how we take this apart. So how do you make pyrazoles? Well, we need this kind of weird compound. We need a hydrazine. And we need this sort of molecule. I'm going to number this. This is a 1,3 dicarbonyl compound, and we learned about making these with our enamine acylation chemistry. So let's see an example. You know, this is a reaction. I've actually run this reaction before. Um, you can take a, a 1,3 dicarbonyl compound, 1,3 um, diketone in this case, and treat this with hydrazine. Hydrazine is not the safest reagent to use, but um, it, you know, a lot of things aren't safe. We just have to know how to handle it. And what we end up getting, um, tell you what, let me draw this. This is not the final product, but I think it's the easiest way to see it. So what we're going to do is one NH2 is going to react with a carbonyl, then the other NH2 reacts with the other carbonyl. We get we could think of it as this kind of structure. This is not a pyrazole. It's not aromatic because we have an sp3 hybridized carbon in there. But this simply goes through a an imine enamine tautomerization. So this is now an enamine. And once we do that, we form the aromatic ring. <clears throat> If we ran this reaction, we could dump everything together. And when I say dump everything together, I'm saying you just take hydrazine and this 1,3-dicarbonyl compound, walk away, and a couple hours later you'll come back and there will be this solid formed in the reaction. Nice, stable, aromatic compound, high yield. It's beautiful chemistry. So th this is part of what makes the heteroaromatic compounds are, are heavily explored molecules. And they're, they're explored because people could make them a long time ago. And anything that's been around a long time is probably heavily studied. So there's a lot of rich literature around these compounds. But this is how we put together a pyrazole.